In a previous video, I've pointed out some of the new things in Firefox 3. Today, I'm going to highlight two or three more features that we did not hit on in the last video. And the first one focuses on the address bar and the search bar here on the right. In Firefox, we all have the search bar. It's built in. If you click here, you get a various number of search engines you can use and click manage search engines here at the bottom you can add more search engines you can move them around on the list you can click here to get more search engines and then your any all of your favorite search engines are at your disposal very quickly one question my brother had was in a previous version of Firefox could you adjust the width of the address bar or the search bar and you can with Firefox 3 simply by putting your mouse in between the two bars and drag. Click and drag and you can make the address bar smaller or you can make the address bar bigger thus making the search bar bigger or smaller. Another thing I wanted to show you today was under tools and add-ons this is a new this is a new improvement in Firefox 3.0. You used to have to go to the add-on section of Firefox's website to find new add-ons. Now you can simply click Get Add-ons right here. And now they have kind of like a miniature browser set up in the dialog box. And you can search for add-ons right here within this box. If I just search for Bookmark Synchronizer, they're all right there. I can click on each one to read a little bit more about it and then add it directly to Firefox from this screen. So that's a big improvement, a little bit quicker as well. Firefox introduced tab browsing, which is not a new feature, but it's an improved feature with Firefox to many, many internet users. And now if you're not using tabs, you are not browsing the web the way it was meant to be browsed. Firefox 3 ups the ante again by doing some cool things with the tabs. For example, if I want to move a tab from one spot to another on my list, I can click and drag it to a different position. So if you need to have tabs in a certain order, you just click and drag them to a certain position. The other thing that you can do with Firefox is dra if you have two screens like I do, is you can actually drag a tab from one Firefox window to another. So I'm going to drag Woot here from this window to this other Firefox window simply by clicking on it and dragging it into the other window. Now it's left this Firefox window is over here. If I want to drag Ubuntu and put it on this window, I drag it and it, now it's over on this window. So tab browsing has gotten even stronger with Mozilla Firefox 3 and there's a few quick little tips on some features of Firefox 3 you may not have hit upon yet. 